Okay, what to do, people? Mr. Mike Eddie three oh eight. Well, it's been a while since I made a videos. <clears throat> I kind of sort of gave them up. Said I'm not gonna do no more videos. So I give me some kind of HD cam for it or some shit like that. But then again, I don't upload videos every week and every day like that, like most people do. So I said, what's what the heck the point of getting it? It's just gonna be sitting and collecting dust. So. If uh, I'm going to continue to record my videos from my webcam, I'm not big time balling like that to go out and just spend $800 on the HD camera, camcorder. So yeah, if the video quality is terrible, then I suggest not watching my videos. But seeing like I had got a bunch of messages, I had over like 50 of them. It's been a while since I checked my message. or been on YouTube, so... A lot of people want me to upload more videos. It's like, man, where you go? We kind of miss your videos, man. You great in giving out information and news about games and content and stuff like that. So, yeah. So I appreciate them guys that actually do enjoy my videos. So I guess I'm gonna keep it going for them guys. People out there don't that don't want to watch my videos. You know, I truly don't care anymore. Teachers on, you know, if you're into that high definition game, find a high definition video. I'm still not quite judged yet, but hopefully I will get there. But as of now, nah, this video is now recorded in HD, so yeah, sorry about that. But yeah, today I'm gonna be showing you guys a little bit Dragonborn add on for Skyrim. Gotta say, this is one great add on. Not going to show y'all everything, the bosses and battles and all that stuff. I'm just going to show you guys new armor and magic and shouts and stuff you get with it. So I got to load up one of my old characters. Because right now, I, I did it before I did everything, beat it everything with my Red Guard character. But now, I'm playing as a Nord character. Because there's some Nords over here in Raven Rock. Not Raven Rock, Soul Stein. I guess that's the name of this item to go to. And if you're a Nord, your character, if you're a Nord character and an Imperial character, because you know, in the High Elf and Dark Elf, they play huge roles in this game. But, you know, they mostly in the story. The High Elves is in the story. The Thalmor, you know, the Nords is in their Opal Stormcloak and Imperials are in this main story too, because of the Empire, the Imperials. So, yeah. But like I said, I know I haven't been making any more videos recently. That's I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to load this up, you guys, and, and make a normal save because it's gonna auto save. Sorry about that. So this is my newer character I'm playing with. Might have to turn this light off because it's dim in the air. How's that battle? Probably else. But yeah, like I said, I, I haven't been too much uploading any more videos and stuff due to people's wasn't enjoy my videos for some reason but it's good to see that some people actually did enjoy my videos now the thing I also wanted to discuss to you guys about was it's a big um, topic on GameStop.com about Microsoft and this greedy Xbox Live Go you know you got Nintendo and Sony giving away stuff free on their consoles so now all of a sudden Microsoft want to get started giving away stuff free no, they gave away Happy Wars and we supposed to get some another uh, some other games free. But that's still not good. That that's still not good. But Sony giving away four games. They're not giving away arcade games. Happy Wars is an arcade game. It's not like an Xbox 360 game you get for free. PS3, Sony on there giving away Infamous 2, Infamous 1, Infamous 3. Wait, is it an Infamous 3 out? No, I've been a while since I've been on PlayStation. I don't think it's the infamous story out. But yeah. I say that is some pleasant music right there. But yeah, I gotta make a save on this game. So yeah. Pretty much they trying to get you know, get caught up with Sony and Nintendo because they giving away stuff for free. So yeah. <laughs> It's pretty crazy in a way. So this is my dude right here. Now this is where you go. You go to a whole new island with Dragonborn. You get new shouts and stuff. Shouts to tame peoples and even dragons. You can tame and ride your own dragon. 
But when y'all say ride, it's not exactly what you guys think it is. It's not you get to fly the dragon where you want like you would, you would on your horse. It's not like that. The dragon fly randomly over an area. You can fast travel to an area. You can pull up the map while you're on the back of the dragon. He'll go there. But you can't go to towns. So he can go to like places like caves and dungeons. And he'll just fly around the place. But you can't tell him what, you know, control where you want him to fly. Like you would on your horse. So that's a bit let down for me. I thought we was actually going to be able to control our own very horse. But no. down so so yeah you can't control your dragon I know a lot of people have been thinking like wow man this is actually gonna be neat we'll be able to get on our own dragon go where we want mm -mm, it's not like that it's not like that at all you guys it's truly not now this here is so stunning uh, but you guys looking at the dog uh, no you get the dog with Dungard. That's the dog from Dungard. So yeah. But it's pretty much I just killed this dragon. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's pretty much it got new plants to harvest and stuff and learn new recipes and stuff like that. And you get new armor. See that armor? Pretty neat armor. Wait. Yeah, I probably can't see it that good. But yeah, that's new armor you get there. It's pretty neat. Uh, another armor you get, and you get to make swords and stuff for it too, is our favorite armor from Morin, the Star Rim armor. Now you can make that armor. Well, I don't have none on me. And the new armor you also get too is the Nordic carved armor. Yeah. And they did a great job where you can see the cuts and scrapes and scratches and stuff on it, dust, all that stuff. So they did a pretty good job. Well, I've been telling a lot of people with this 3D display, it shows off this type of detail, my bad, detail so clearly. No, y'all can't see it that good because I'm not recording in HD. But, yeah, every detail you can see good. So, yeah, this is the new Nordic carved armor. And the helmet looks pretty crazy. Looks like a barrel or a lion or where it's supposed to be. I think it's a lion. No. I don't know. Maybe a saber tooth. But yeah. And that's the shield. Very detailed. Very, very detailed. True lives. So yeah. Also you get this new armor too. I put it on so you so you guys see how it look. It's a robe you get. See? Yeah. It has to go with this bone mode on a little bit. But I'm not gonna wear that. Now you get to make improved bone mode armor. You gotta find fight help this blacksmith find some kind of page or note showing how to make it. Yeah. So yeah, this is Raven Rock. Beautiful old Raven Rock. See they brought some of their music back from Morrowind, so that's actually good. So yeah, this is so stunning. Look at the map. Map is pretty huge. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty neat. Show you guys a couple of the new shouts and stuff like that. <clears throat> you get this shout right here, Ben Will. You can control a dragon with this shout. Also, people, it also works on people's too. When you didn't come back, it also works on people's. Only thing I hate that they do with this add-on and pretty much all of the armors when they come out with the add-on and even when they deal with Dungard is they don't have the whole set. I mean, you got the bone mold armor, 
And it's another armor you can make too, chitin. Now with them two armors, they don't come with shields, swords, or bow and arrows. So yeah. You're pretty much just got the armor with the bow mode and chitin armor. You well the chitin do come with the light shield, but don't come with the heavy shield. That's another another thing I hate too. So yeah. So this is the new plant you get to harvest. So yeah, you can actually go over there to them little islands over there in the water. But you can't go over there to that island like in the background. You can't go over there. Uh, these things is new. I think they're called niche, niche, some stuff like that. You can actually kill these things too and take leather from them. They, they got leather too. They got niche leather, which is required to make most of this new armor, like the um, chitin armor and I think the improved version of the bone mode armor. I'm not for sure. But yeah. I go the volcano all the way back off in the dish. You see the smoke coming from it. And no, you cannot go over there. Wish you could, but you can't. <clears throat> it's kind of stupid. They should have spanned this a little bit more. But there go an enemy over there. I'm going to use the bin wheel. There should be some enemies over here. Yeah. Now I'm going to use the bin wheel and watch. See? Now they fight for me. See? So bin wheel works not only on dragon, but it also works on enemies too. See? Now he fight for me. So yeah. I think I actually didn't kill my dog. Ah, oh, nah, I got the companion thing. So, yeah. So, yeah. That's pretty much this. Oh, yeah, you get new, you get, you get new stuff, too. Uh, since I don't got no shield with this armor. I don't even know what magic that is I'm using. So yeah, uh, it's a it's a new power you get. You hit your companions. You can't. Well, I want. Wait a minute. I wasn't supposed to kill him. Oh man, it didn't work. It's a new it's a new effect you get. See this companions insight. Your attacks, shouts, and destruction spells do no damage to your followers when in combat. Ah, oh, this is when in combat. Okay, so we wasn't in combat, so he took that damage. So yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna save this game anyway, so it don't matter. But yeah, I'm just showing y'all off some some stuff with the Dragonborn hat on. But these guys got the bone mode on on. You'll catch enemies in some of this new armor every now and then. The only armor you won't catch them in is the Star Wind armor. That's the new armor. Uh, I wish I had that armor on me. I probably put it back in my house. Yeah. I wish y'all see my guy not taking damage all that stuff. Yeah, I did the um, alchemy glitch. You know, you can do the alchemy glitch and make his his enchantment strong, like health, regeneration, health, um, stamina, sneak, all that stuff. You can make that stuff better. Okay, uh, I don't know what these guys are talking about, but they from that village. It's a new village on here that got that the Norse hole up at uh it's called skull village i think that's the name of it so i'm gonna say sounds fun i join your horn you got between four options a niche think you'll win the fight sounds fun i join you and good luck i'm gonna say a niche So now these guys want me to um hunt the niche with them. So I'm gonna shoot it. 
Pop. It goes down. I'm not for sure what these guys do. But you know, you got random stuff, and this dude died. So these is hunters. Pretty much just like hunters, you. Oh, shoot. Sorry about my screensaver. I hope it was still recording. My screensaver come out. But yeah, uh, these guys pretty much just like the hunters you run in Skyrim. You you know, you run across hunters in Skyrim. So yeah, that's pretty much what these guys is. Oh, okay, I, I don't have the whole set of this armor. Okay, there go the hat, the coat, and the boots. I'm going to take this armor. I got the coat and the boots. I just don't have the hat. And I think I gave it to a companion and got rid of that companion. So I don't even know where that's on going to be. So, yeah, these dudes are Norse. These are the Norse of, of Solstein. So this is the niche. This is what the niche has. This stuff right here, you can make paralyzed, restore stamina, fortify carrying weight, and fear potions. So yeah. And this is the stuff I was talking about in order to make the new armor over here in Solstein. But not you can make the um, new armor with Dragonborn back in Skyrim too. But this is what you you're gonna have to come all the way to Solstein just to get this from the niche things. So yeah. So I helped them guys out, so that was pretty good. Now I'm gonna go to this village I was telling you guys about. That's what I'm gonna put on the new woman, see how my new woman look. <clears throat> but yeah. It's pretty neat though. Like I said, the add-on is pretty good, though. I mean, it gives you more hours of stuff to do. And then you got a whole big old island. So this is how the skull armor looks. Well, I don't got the gloves. I, I hope you guys got gloves. I'm pretty sure they got gloves. But yeah, this is how they armor look. The skull village dude's armor. Looks pretty neat, though. So yeah, uh, I got the Star Realm bow and arrows. You got Dungard, you can make the new arrows too over here, the, the, the Star Realm. Now this is a new sword you get. This is a, this is a new sword you get in, in over here on this island. It's the Blood Skull Blade. Release energy blast with power, with power attacks and deal 30 damage. You cannot disenchant this. I'm sorry. I hate you can't. But you cannot learn this enchantment, you guys. So, yeah. But yeah, I see that sword is doing 925, 23 damage. The um, Dawn Breaker. Yeah, it glitched that sword out. Now, this is the new Star Realm on bow. Now, Star Realm is like a special enchanted ice. It's very hard and very powerful. And then this is the great sword. The Star Realm Great Sword. And then this is the sword. So yeah, you can make this new armor, but the thing with it in order to make the the, the Star Realm armor and sword, you will have to come over to Solstein in order to pick pick mine the Star Realm deposit, which requires a special pickaxe, which I'm gonna show you guys too. You cannot break this ice without this pickaxe. This pickaxe right here is an ancient Nordic pickaxe. Only this thing can break the um, Star Realm. So yeah. Let's see what else I got to show you guys. This is a, the Nordic um, battle axe. This is how the battle axe looks. The Nordic curve. Armor, you know, that's the battle axe. This the dagger. Uh, this is the sword. 
You get these things too. You can put you can actually shoot these out your out your bow out your arrow out your bow. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put them on and show you. They spears, they big old jazz spears. Trying to see if you guys can see them on my back. Yeah, I see them on my back. They big old jazz spears. And you can take them off and put them on your bow. See it? It's like a big old arrow. Let me shoot it in something so y'all can see how it looks. As y'all can see, that's it. It's a spear, but you can you can shoot it at you can shoot it in your bow. Not your crossbow. I don't know if it works for the crossbow. See? You just take it off your back. So that's another neat thing too. You shoot a big old spear out your bow. I mean they did add some good stuff. These new bugs, um ash hopper. You could get that stuff too in their legs. I don't know why you would get their legs. I guess you could make food out of it, but Somehow that doesn't seem to work that good. So now I'm gonna show you guys some Star Realm armor. I'm pretty sure I put it back in my house in Raven Rock. Yes, you guys, you do get a house in Raven Rock. <clears throat> you have to do a bunch of quests for the for the guys in Raven Rock and eventually you'll get a special quest hampered out to um like the king dude. Then they'll end up giving you a house. Not gonna tell you how you get the house, what you got to do to get the house. I'm not I'm not gonna be no spoiler. That's why I'm glad I beat everything, did everything so y'all won't see none of the crashes and all that stuff. So only thing I'm showing you guys off is a new armor and enchantments and shouts and all that stuff. I'm not gonna show you guys the crests and missions and all that stuff. I did all that stuff, got all that stuff out the way. Only thing I got left to do is the side quests. There's still a bunch of side quests that you get and stuff, random people come up to you and give you Side quests. This if you have did everything with all your guilds, you know, the majors, get the Winter Hole College, Thieves Guild, Dark Brotherhood. You know, if you did everything with them, then every now and then random people that helped out them guilds um, once in their life will come up to you and want you to do certain stuff. But I haven't completed all them guilds with this dude, so that's why they're not going to show up on me. So, yeah. But my vampire character, when I came over here, I did everything. Um, Help open Storm Club, win the war, so, you know, did that. All the Dark Brotherhood, went to old college, all that. When I came over here, I started getting extra side quests from them guilds. So, yeah. Be sure when you do come over here in Soul Sound, be sure you do all your guilds. The, the Mage Guild, the, you know, Thieves Guild, all them guilds. So this is my, my the new house you get. This is my new house. You got a you got a second bedroom, but thing about it, you cannot bring your family over. If you download Hotfire, you cannot bring your family over to Raven Rock in your new home. And they just got all this laid out so nice and neat and stuff. This is also new too. It's called the Champions Um Kujil. It's pretty powerful. And this is my Star Realm. This is enormous Star Realm stuff. And you got your Nordic stuff hung up over there. So, yeah. Then you get four mannequins. I got the bone mold. Oh, you do get a shield with the bone mold. My bad, you do get a shield with a bone mold. Um, you just don't get the sword, bow, and arrows. And that's the only thing I hate. Uh, this is Star Wars more. This is where I put my, where, where my other Star Wars more, man. So, yeah, that's the other Star Wars more. Man. I mean, no, not Star Wars armor, Skull Village armor, light armor, my bad, my bad, Skull Village armor. That is the Star Wars battle, oh, mace, okay. Uh, this is, the, the guys who come up to you, when you first download Dunk, Dunk, I mean, Dragonborn, the guys will come up to you in this armor. And this is the Chidden armor. It also comes with a shield too. Only a light shield, not a heavy shield, even though you can make a heavy shield with the chin armor. But you can't get a heavy shield. You can make heavy armor with the chin armor, but not a heavy shield. That was kind of stupid. You, why have a light chin shield with a heavy armor? That's kind of stupid. So you, you get charger chests and all that stuff to store your stuff in too over here. 
when I find my star realm warmer. There you go. This this is star realm warmer. Uh, I think I got all of it over here. <coughs> now, I don't look like I got it all. So yeah. So yeah, this is the Star Realm Mormon. Looks so much detail in the sky. And, you know, you couldn't hardly see that good quality in it in Mormon, but that's good that they actually the detail it with the graphics that sky supports. So that's actually good. But now we get to see how this Mormon look <coughs> with sky graphics. <coughs> So yeah. That's the light on. So you got two versions of this armor. <coughs> you got heavy star wearing armor and you got light. <coughs> now once again with this armor, you only get the light shell, not the heavy shell. So once again, they did that same shell. You get the heavy armor but you don't get no heavy shield on Star Wars I'm going to go to a forge to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. You also get a forge inside this house too. So I'm going to load it up to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Now this is all the new armor you get to make. You get to make the bone mold armor. That's all the bone mold armor. You get to make the shield. And good thing the shield is heavy. Actually, I think all the bone mold armor is heavy. Then you got improved bone mold shield. This is the chin armor. This is all light. And then, and then it's heavy. This light. Heavy. 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 Light. This how the light head um, helmet look. Heavy helmet. Light helmet. Light shield, but no heavy shield. Y'all see that? No heavy shield. Yes, a light shield. It's a Nordic arm armor. This 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 the Nordic arrows. You can make the Nordic arrows. They come with their own unique and match the armor. They got the whole detail, same material stuff as the armor. So it actually goes with the armor. Actually, all the arrows that you make kind of go with all the armor. The dragon bone arm um, um, bow arrows look so sweet. And this how the bow look. The Nordic curved bow. <clears throat> This is the new arm um, stuff, the Star Realm armor. That's the arrows. You can make the Star Realm arrows. Somehow, I think the the strongest swords and bows and arrows and stuff in Skyrim so far is, is Dragon Bone. That seems to be the strongest. See, the Star Realm arrows only do 20 damage. Now, you go all the way up to Dragon arrows, they do 25. So, yeah. Kind of a big difference there. <clears throat> so yeah. No, no, it's pretty crazy. They got its own unique, you know, own unique look. So yeah, this is the better axe for the Star Realm. That's the heavy boots, the bow, <clears throat> the dagger, the heavy armor, gauntlets, great sword, the heavy armor helmet. Actually, look better than light armor. I like the heavy. Actually, I like the Star Wars heavy armor more than I like the light armor. I just wish they had a, a heavy shield for the Star Wars armor. Heavy armor. I wish they had a heavy shield, but they only got the light shield. See, they only got the light armor shield, Star Wars shield. They don't have heavy. So, but that's the please give us a heavy shield. For chitin and star rim armor. Please give us a heavy shield. We don't want to wear a heavy star rim armor with a light star rim shield. That's that's stupid. You know, you see enemies in the game mix max, but there's some people out there that actually like to wear matching gear, you know. 
you know, you don't see too many people playing, got on ebony armor with Daytree. Well, that, that actually is not that bad. They actually go together. But you don't see nobody with Dwarven armor on, armor on with some um, Daytree boots, gloves, and helmet on. That's just, that's just stupid. People, when they play this game, they like to have the whole match set. And the fact that y'all did not add a heavy shield for the Star Realm armor was kind of stupid. In the chitin armor. Y'all did not add us, give us a heavy shield with the chin and the new Star Rim armor, which to me was kind of stupid. <clears throat> the new jury, that's what done guard. So don't worry about that. It's not too much new jury you can make. It's not too much. But yeah, that's pretty much that. So yeah. I wish you could make this armor too, the, um, this, this, the Skull Village armor. This little snow like look like a kind of like a snowman's outfit. But yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, that's pretty much that. I don't think that's new. Also, it's a new another armor you get from the first Dragonborn. I'm not gonna tell you guys what nothing more about him. Except that he would give you an armor, a sword, and a staff. Not gonna tell you how it looked, and it's not gonna even show you guys how it looked. Sorry, no spoilers on that part. Cause I think that's a part of the main. I mean, the main Dragon Ball Edo. I mean, this stuff you know, you know, it's it's not that much. You know, showing off this stuff that you can make. That's the armor you cannot make. Therefore, I'm not gonna show that one off. If you guys think that I should, then leave comments, and I will make another video showing that armor off. Now on the lower screen, as you can see, he has a bone mold armor with a Daytree great sword. Now all this mix mac, I don't know what is what is it with Bethesda. They they even had this shit in Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, where enemies will wear, wear mix mac shit. I I don't understand them. I mean, why? What's the point? It's, it's kind of stupid. Like I'm gonna sit there and wear some Dwarven armor and have a Daytree helmet on, and have some epic. Godless on it has some steel plate boots on. I mean, it's just stupid. <clears throat> this probably have this will probably have Bethesda play the game. I'm, I'm gonna go on and do some mix match stuff. <coughs> this is probably how they play. <coughs> Let's play how they play. Now, this is a special armor you've got to find in these crates. It's, it's called the Death Brand. This is a special Star Wars armor you gotta find. Now the shield is not Death Brand. I, I I just made a light shield and just named it Death Brand so it all go together so I can easily find it. But this is the whole Star Wars armor, the whole match is set. But this is not heavy. This is light. <clears throat> this is light. This is a special Star Wars armor. It's not. It's, it's it's actually named this when you find it in the in the treasure chest. Death brand. It's actually named this. You cannot, you know, rename it, disenchant it, none of that. It's actually named that. Only thing I did was name a light star realm shield death brand too, so that you know I can have a whole matching name set. I don't. I don't know. I just like to match when I play the game. But I'm gonna show you guys how Bethesda <coughs> other people probably play. So we go put on. The Star Realm armor. And then I'm going to go throw on some bone mold boots with some Nordic gauntlets and see what else I can add. With this hat on, I'm just going to do that. And for a shield. We're at um, Arya Shield from Dungard. <clears throat> so this is how most people probably play the game. Mix, mix back like a motherfucker and I even match it. You know, you come across enemies and this is how enemies are. I don't expect actual people to actually play the game to be random stuff. You know, we like to wear matching gear. I mean, I said matching gear. Matching gear. I mean, we like to match. We, have the, we like to have the whole set on. <clears throat> So yeah, it's pretty crazy though. I mean, that, to me that don't look good. I don't know what it is. To me that just don't look good. It, it don't. I, I can't play like that. That's just not me. 
I like to have the whole matching gear. Oh, I, I I can't play like that. Some people's can to each his own. I mean, if you, if you can play like that, hey, so be it. Me, I can't. So, now I'm going to put this whole outfit on with the sword shield and all that stuff, the arrows. Uh, that's the bow. I think I got that in my shortcuts. Uh, that's the sh sword. Yeah, I even named the sword and bow and all great sword death brand too. You these you you do not find these in here. Also, you guys, a new enchantment you do get is this one right there. It says fifty percent chance for each element or five frost and shock to do sixty-seven points of damage. So what this enchantment does is you'll be you'll go be doing both five frost and shock damage. No more of that putting shock damage in your sword and you know you can't do Frost and five. This one will actually do five frost and shock damage randomly. So it's a random enchantment that's go do five both five frost and shock. <clears throat> so that's that's a that's a enchantment you can get only over here in Star. I mean, I can say Star Wars over over and so Stein. Where is my? I think I got Star Wars arrows because you can't name the arrows. So yeah, there go the arrows. So now we got the whole matching Star Realm armor. We got the shield, the arrows, the sword. So now we got the whole matching set. Even the bow. So yeah, with this enchantment, you actually do both the damage, five frost and shock, and it randomly do them. So that's a neat enchantment for people that want, that, that just don't want to do fire. They want to do lightning and frost damage too. This enchantment is for you guys. I'm actually glad they did it because I complained about that so much. You know, it, it was at times I had to put both fire and shock in my enchantments, and nine out of ten, it do both of them, and you don't even know it's doing shock. Um. Hello, Glitch. Y'all see that Glitch shield floating up in there? Wow, that's crazy. <clears throat> they still do need some more, some more patching. I'm going to show you guys a new sword. I got a dude coming to attack me. I can control him if I want. Or show you guys another new shot you get too. This is a new shot too, you guys. Let me show it to you. You get up out of slow motion mode. This is a new shot. <laughs> it's your own whirlwind. <laughs> your own tornado. See? <laughs> That's a new shout you get too. It's Imperial attacking me. I have no idea. <clears throat> Going to put this poison on my bow. My sword. So yeah, that is a new shout. See, it's a whirlwind. <clears throat> see, pretty neat. That's a new shout. Uh, let me see if I can find another new shout. <clears throat> bidding wheel is new. That controls dragon and people. It have people and dragons do your bidding. Uh, slice clone. That's your own whirlwind. Um, dragon aspect. You activate this, and it'll put uh, some kind of armor over you. And you can see it's some kind of armor. <clears throat> and with this, if you actually close to death of <clears throat> a dragonborn, a spiritual dragonborn to come out and help you in battle. So, yeah. So, if you got this activated, if you close to death, a spiritual dragonborn to come out and help you. And it also makes your shouts str stronger too. So if you're using shouts like I just got done using Slice Clone, if I, if I use it now, it's going to be a little bit more stronger. 
Drain Vigility, that is what the Dunguard. Dragon Aspect, Slice Claw, Ben Will are all new at. Wait a minute, I think it's another one too. I know it's Ben Will. Yeah, this one, Battle Fury. This is new too. Battle Fury is kind of like. Uh, where that other shot at? It's kind of like. Uh, where that shout? <clears throat> Is it this May? No. Element Fury. Battle Fury is just like Element Fury except instead of doing doing it to yourself, you do it to companions or followers. Anybody around you, you'll make them swing and sh swing their ship faster. So Battle Fury is no Ben Will, Science Claw, Dragon Expert. If it's another new one. Actually, I think that's all. But a neat thing with this with this add-on, you go inside the black books. I'm not going to tell you more detail. Anyway, you read the black books and go inside some world. That's all I'm going to say. And, and you get to learn new effects. When I say effects, I mean active effects. Like this one, I got Companions Insight. Your attack shouts and such spells do no damage to your followers right when they come back. That's new. Damage resistance is new. No, 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 that's not, that's, that's what Dra that's what Dragon X back. But 300 seconds, power attacks do 25% more damage, plus 100 armor, ancient dragonborn summer, if health under, see, I told you, an ancient dragonborn is summer if your health is under 50%. 25% resistance to fire and frost, shout timers 20, minus 20%, so your shouts also come back to that's a faster than the um Tylos amulet. With the, if you got this activate, your shout timer will actually when you use a powerful shout, they will actually probably come back a lot faster than the Talos um necklace amulet. Okay, this is new Dragonborn Force. <clears throat> now wait a minute. Wait. Yeah, yeah, this is new Dragonborn Force. Now this you get inside the black book world. I'm not gonna tell you guys how to do it or how to do this and that because I'm not here to spoil it for you. If people haven't played that on, that's not me. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. But anyway, what this does, if you pick this when you're in the black book world, your unrelicted force shout does more damage and use it. All three words may disintegrate enemies. That is neat. This is dragon aspect. You are got um you resist the fire and frost when you got that active. Oh um, no, that's not new. That's not new. Um, that's also Dragon Expect 2. This is new. Combat skills are all 10% more effective. That's also in the Black Book world too. So yeah. And you also get some new powers over here too. Um, Bones of Earth. Um, you can call a world bear. It's, it's not it's not a werewolf, you guys. It's a world bear. It's lasting like a werewolf bear. You can call it to fight for you. Uh, North winds. You know, you actually go in here and activate the the things. It's like some. It's like guardian stones, except they give you. They give. It, actually, it is like guardian stones. It's exactly what it is. It's like Garden Stones, only in Soulstein, though. So, yeah. So, I got my Unbelicted Force activated now. So, I'm going to show you how powerful this is when you get this power that's in one of the Black Book worlds. It makes your Unbelicted Force do a hell of a lot of damage. You know, usually just knock people back. Now, it can actually kill people. So, if I can get up here with this enemy, I'm going to show you guys what un the new Unbelicted Force do. There goes somebody. Y'all see how it's a, see it damaged him. <clears throat> Y'all see it's it doing damage to him. Oh, knocked him in the water. So he's still damaging him. I'm gonna let him come up out the water though. But yeah, with this dragon expert, it makes your shout strong. 
Actually, when you're using it, it actually sounds like it got strong. See how I just killed him and disintegrated him? That's a new, that's a new power you get. So, yeah. I just saw something. Harvest. There you go. So, yeah, it makes your, your shout strong. And this thing lasts for 300 seconds, so that's, that's, that's pretty good. I'm going to show you something else, too. Uh, this is, you get this in Gun Guard. This, I don't like Sometimes, sometimes it do that if you if you if you don't use it in the right place. See, this is in this is in Dung Guard. <laughs> I don't know why I'm showing you guys this, but I, I I didn't think you could call him over here on this island. You actually could call him over here, so I did not know that. So I, I was just testing it out to see if you could call him over here. I didn't think you could, but you can. So that's actually good. Let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna use Soul Terror. Soul Terror is not Dragonborn. It is actually Dungard um, shout. Soul Terror is a, actually that dragon that I just called. He'll teach this shout to you. If I can find this enemy over here, I can use Soul Terror and show you what it does. That was a way of jumping up there. I did it before. Damn dragon gonna mess around and kill him. There you go. <clears throat> so where they do go? There you go. So that's soul terror. But it don't work on me, guys. Yeah, that's pretty much what you do. You take their soul. If they die when you use soul terror, it'll, it'll take their soul and, and command them to fight for it. It'll, it'll make them fight by your side. <clears throat> and that dragon right there will teach you that shout. So let me see if something else and know I can test out. Uh, why, oh, why not do storm call since we got this this um dragon aspect that's going to make our shout strong. Let's, call, let's do storm call, see how strong it is. Wow, pretty strong. Hit him with one hit. Wow. So there you go. It, it, it actually makes your, your shout strong. That's pretty neat. I like that dragon that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. I like it. I do. So that's probably gonna be my time on Dragonborn. I'm not I'm not gonna show you guys everything on this ad all. No, I don't feel like giving away everything. So yeah, this is yeah. These are these new stones I was telling you about. You got the sunstone. You got the beast stone. These are all different stones you get to go to. So this place right here called Thirst Hall. If you're Nord, you will be the new leader of this place. Only Nords, because this place belongs to Nords. It's it's kind of like a. <clears throat> it's, I'm not for sure, but it, I don't know. Anyway, I'm, I'm not going to tell you guys all about that neither because it's actually giving away a quest. But anyway, if you help the Norse, you get this place back. But if you're a Nord character, your character, if you're a Nord character, you would be the leader of these peoples. And they'll come and help you in battle and shit like that as far as what I was told. So... That is pretty much that, but right now they're not gonna they're not gonna accept me because I'm a red guard. So you know I can't go in there. They kick me out every time I go in there. So yeah, you're a red guard or any other character. These guys, the Norse, will not accept you. This thirst hall place. Even though I helped them out, I helped them get this place back. I'm not gonna show you. I'm not gonna tell you guys how and why. But I helped them guys got their place back and they still don't even accept me. So if you're, I heard if you're a Nord, they actually accept you. And I think there's a drag about me. If I can, I can show you guys one last thing with this add-on and that's the Ben Wheel. So I'm going to use Ben Wheel on that dragon and tame him. And that's going to be the last thing I'm going to show you guys to, about this add-on. And you show you guys that when I said you actually cannot control where you want the dragon to go, I'm going to show you guys exactly that. 
So I'll see if we can hit him with it. That might be my dragon I call. Somehow it's not letting me hit him. Okay, maybe this stuff ain't got no range. Let me try to get him to land with um dragon wind. Alright, Dragon Wind just hit him. So now, there you go, landing. Now, what I'm going to do is switch back over to Ben Will and tame that dragon as my own. Feel like I got another dragon. I do. <clears throat> so there we go. We use Dragon Aspect on that dragon. It's actually two dragons over here. One just laying down there somewhere, and then this one. He should land. There you go. Then you can get on them and ride them. But you cannot control them. I'm telling you guys, I kid you not, you cannot control this dragon. See, I'm moving the analogs. You cannot control them. See, I'm telling him to go to the right. He's not going to the right. See? You cannot control him. He flies on his own. Only thing you can do on him is just fly around the circus and command him to attack people. And you can even shoot magic off of him. You cannot shoot your bow or attack off of him with a sword. But you actually put magic in your hand and shoot magic off of him. And it's only certain magic. You can't, you can't do all magic. It's only certain magic. So I'm going to go to disintegrate since it's an expert magic. Put it in both my hands and voila, we can shoot off of it. Almost like a drive-by. <laughs> then you pull up the map. You can pull up the map on him and have him to fast travel to another place. So we're going to have him fast travel to... It's a place over here where a dragon. We're going to fight another dragon. Have him fast travel to this dragon um, location on the map. And hope we fight a dragon. Now you can lock on to stuff too, just click the um, left analog, you can lock on enemies on ground and stuff and even command the dragon to attack them and stuff like that. I mean, all that stuff is pretty neat and fun, I, I gotta say, it's, it's pretty neat that they did that, I thought that was pretty neat. So what you do is you aim the crosshair and then you hit, click that left analog and you lock onto an enemy. Or is it the right analog? So right now he's fighting that dragon and I can help him fight it. It's a way to lock on. I'm, I'm not for sure how that's done. Is it, is it X? Is it Y? Yes, yeah, Y. Okay, it's Y to lock on. Then you click the analog to tell him to attack. Okay, there we go. It's been a while since I played this. So right now I'm shooting magic off of off the dragon. And I can click the left, left analog to tell him to, to attack. Yeah, I would just shoot magic off of them. And you can have him attack different enemies. Now, it's a way you can switch to different enemies. I'm not for sure how to do that. Um, is it A? Now, A to tell him to land. I'm not trying to do that. My bad. I wasn't trying to tell him to do that. Damn, I'm going to have to control him again. As soon as you get off of them, um, after a while, they will start back attacking you. So it ain't like it's a permanent tame. When you tame the dragon, it's not permanent. I thought it would be. So I'm going to have to get him to land back down here. So I'm going to have to use Ben Real on him again. And get him to land again. <clears throat> so there's a lot of enemies down here. So get back on my dragon. And now we get back on them. So there we go. So why is the lock on people and then it's a way to switch to different targets. And then you click the left analog and you drag and attack that target that you lock on. See now you're attacking the arm. Now you're attacking that. And you click again. 
and they attack. I'm not for sure how to. T okay, there you go. It's the. Wait a minute. Way to tell him to attack something else. I'm not. I know A is the land, so we don't want to do that. Now I'm gonna tell him to t attack that dragon. They've got that dragon now. Now I'm using magic off of them, shooting the enemies with, with magic. Oh shoot! I went to screen save. I hope it still be recording when I go to screen save. When my career go to screen save. So yeah, why is the switch targets? You hit Y and you you move the analog to where you want to lock onto, and it lock onto that person like that. Clicking the F analog analog to command the dragon attack an enemy. So now I locked on the snow fox and fist to have him attack a snow fox. So you pretty much can lock on anything. See, now we locked on a snow fox. I mean, a snow fox. And we just killed the snow fox. So, yeah. And now the snow fox still alive. So, see, yeah, now we're fighting a snow fox. Fighting another snow fox. Kept that snow fox. So yeah, that's pretty much of what you do on the dragon. I mean, you can't control the dragon and tell him to go your own way where you want him to go. You pretty much pick a place on the map and fast travel there, and the dragon will fly around that place. Now note, you cannot fast travel in towns. Well, Raven Rock, you can. Some town in Skyrim, you cannot fast travel. You cannot land a dragon in towns. In Skyrim, you can't. But in Soul Style, you can. I don't know why you can on Soul Style, but can't on Skyrim. So yeah, that's pretty much all about the dragon. And them new enemies right there too, they're kind of like some goblins. Pretty crazy. They the ones got the spears. So now we're going to land to the tower. You can also command your dragon to attack people in the villages too. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of that. And then I'm going to load back up my other guy, guy I'm working on and finish playing with him. But as you can see now... I hit a target, I locked onto a guard, and I can command the dragon to attack the guard. So if you if you guys are evil, evil playing this evil, you guys can have your dragon to, to be evil too. See, now he's attacking the guards over in Raven Rock. You just click the analog just like how you crouch, and that's how you command the dragon to attack. And you see he go land and get good position on him. He land on top of the ship, and he faces hit him with that frost. And we killed him. Well, we ain't gonna attack him. But it's supposed to be an easy way to move to different targets. So there's another guard. We're gonna have him attack the other guard. So he find soon as he find a good place to land, which that guard is pretty much in a hard to reach place. Okay, there we go. We got him now. See? There you go. You took him out. Now, when you on the back of your dragon, you still get bounties too, even though you commanded your dragon to do all this killing. You still you still get bounties on your head. So, yeah. But that's pretty much my time on that, you guys. I got to go back to my other character, finish working with him. But, yeah, that's my time. I thought maybe I should share that with you guys. Leave comments. Let me know what you guys think about all this new stuff, the new features and stuff like that you can do in Dragonborn. But... I went over 
almost 60 minutes of this video. I wasn't trying to make it that long. I know nobody not to sit there and watch my videos that long, not not being in HD too. So if you do, then you must be a true fan of Mr. Mike 8308, and I appreciate it, and I will continue to upload more videos since it seems to be people out there that actually enjoy my information and videos. So to you guys, I will continue to upload videos. Thanks for enjoying my videos. I kind of sort of gave it up because I thought maybe nobody was watching my videos. So yeah. Told the truth. So, yeah, that's my time. You guys take care. I'm out.